Hey everyone, we're back at it again for another Epic 7 build guide. This time, we will be looking at Karin Fantaria, the uptight prosecutor of the Public Security Club. She's someone that would put you straight in jail for throwing your trash in the wrong bin. That's the kind of person I'm getting from her. Aside from her quirky personality, she's actually pretty damn good, considering I use crappy gears for her. I personally use her myself when I'm running fire-based runs such as Fire Spirit Altar and Wyvern Hunts. Like Shuri, she is a mid to late game character. This is because all of her skills depends on landing critical hits, so to even use her to her full potential, you need high critical chance. We will have a look at her skills, possible gears, and artifacts that she can use. So without further ado, let's jump into it. Her first skill, Sequential Cutter, deals damage and decreases the cooldown of all her skills by 1 when she lands a critical hit. A normal attack that decreases the cooldowns of her other skills. Now I know what you're thinking, and yes, she's a spammer. With the right build and luck, your enemies will be waiting in their deathbed till they get their turn. But there's more to this. Dual attacks and counter can trigger this effect. If you're provoked, no problem. As long as you crit, this effect will always trigger. But of course, this is best used when her other skills are in cooldown. Her second skill, Blade Art Flash, decreases defense by one turn when a critical hit lands. But when Karin is awakened three times, this skill will also grant her an extra turn. I advise you not to use Karin until you have unlocked the extra turn. Why? Because her defense break is only for one turn. This means she will not be able to take advantage of her own defense break. It becomes more like a support skill, but worse. I mean, come on. Other defense break units have at least two turns in their kit, and Karin is a nuker, not a support unit. A way to get around this, if for whatever reason you can't wait to use her, is to make sure she has enough speed to attack the enemy twice per enemy turn. The cooldown of this skill is pretty high at 4 turns, but the extra turn that you get from this skill actually makes this a 3 turn cooldown skill. Guess what happens if you use her first skill after this and land another critical hit? Yup another turn decreased. That makes it a 2 turn cooldown. If you get lucky with a dual attack, that's another 1 turn decrease, which means it's available again on her next turn. A skill with 1 turn defense break? No problem. You know, she has one of the best synergy between skills, in my opinion of course, and that's one of the reasons why I love to use her whenever I can. Her third skill is a nuke skill that increases in damage when landing a critical hit. It has a very long cooldown of 7 turns, but to Karin, that is not a really big problem. Her other skills are basically support skills to set up for this one nuke skill. First skill decreases cooldown, while defense break from her second skill makes this skill even more potent. Using 10 soul burn, you can further increase its damage. So what I'd usually do with Karin is that open it up using her second skill and then use her third skill. While those two skills are down, spam first skill until second skill is available. Then use it to get that extra turn and spam first skill again till second and third skill are available. For skill enhance, since most of her skills gives damage, you can freely choose however you want, whether to distribute it evenly or focus on one skill. Although investing in damage usually means you're committed to this character, the minus one cooldown on her third skill is not really important. That really depends on how you are planning to use her. If you have another unit in your team that has defense break, then you can consider getting her third skill to plus four. This is because when you do her rotation, there's a part where both of her second and third skill are in one turn cooldown. If you have her third skill enhanced four times, this would make her third skill available, but you wouldn't be able to use her second skill since it's still in cooldown. 
This is what I mean by having another unit with defense break since they can fill in her second skills effect. Also if you are using her as a nuke unit, then investing on this skill to max is a good option. But if not, then you don't really need to prioritize on this skill and max her first skill instead since you will be using this quite a lot. For gears, if you don't have any decent destruction set gears, I suggest to use attack grit or attack unity. She is a nuker type unit and you will need the attack percentages that you can get to maximize her damage. Attack crit is the most common build at this stage since both are essential for Karin. Speed crit or speed unity also works for Karin but be sure to have a decent amount of attack percentage from these gears. This gives her more turns to spam first skill which in turn reduces the cooldown of her other skills especially her third skill. With speed unity is a more difficult to use since you will need both attack percentage and enough crit chance substats to be able to fully utilize her skills. Using this gear composition is a bit of a troll and it works in paper. This maximizes the effects of her first skill, reducing the cooldowns of her other skills as much as possible. With the case of unity, how convenient will it be when you don't have to use her first skill, since by the time it gets to her turn, your second skill is already available from the constant dual attacks. Not bad in my opinion. In later game however, once you have decent destruction set gears, I would swap attack set with destruction set. Now why use destruction set over attack set? Well attack set increases your total attack stat by 35% while destruction set increases crit damage by 40%. Due to how crit damage is calculated, it will ultimately outscale attack especially when you have high crit damage. The reason why you should go attack set first is because destruction set is hard to come by especially for new players, but it gets easier once you have built yourself a decent team to do banshee hunts. Keep in mind that she's made out of paper when using these gears, and if you need to, you can use health set for survivability. Of course, be sure to have offensive substats on it. Kari needs at least around 90% or more crit chance, at least, because it's very important for her to crit for her other effects to trigger. Because she will be your main DPS, it can be frustrating when she doesn't land a critical hit and can screw up your rotation, setup and Karin's momentum in battles. Substats that you can use for Karin are a combination of attack percentage, crit chance, crit damage, speed and health percentage. Effectiveness is also a good option so you can land her defense break more often, but it is a low priority. Be sure to have either crit chance or crit damage as a main stat for necklace and either speed or attack percentage for boots. Okay, now that we have that sorted out, let's have a look at possible artifacts for Karin. The only 5 star artifact that is good for her is Rihanna and Lucilia or RNL and is arguably the best artifact for Karin. RNL has a 10% chance up to 20% chance to grant her an extra turn at the end of the turn. To me, that's not the good part of this artifact. It's the fact that it can trigger once per turn. Now how is this good? The extra turn gives Karin a chance to further decrease her skills using her first skill. Not only that, but the extra turn from her second skill can proc this artifact's effect, giving you two extra turns instead of one. With this, it's possible to have her second skill available on her next turn after she uses this skill. The only 4 star artifact that she can use is Dust Devil, which gives you 15% up to 30% chance to attack again with a basic attack after attacking with a basic attack. So if you use Karin's first skill, there's a chance to attack again using her first skill if the target survives. This works very well with Karin since the second attack, if it lands a critical hit, can reduce the cooldown of her skills. 
that gives you a 2 turn cooldown decrease. Although RNL is better since Dust Devil is only limited to basic attacks, while the other gives an extra turn so you can use other skills if you want to. For 3 star artifacts, you can either use Daydream Joker, Rannan's Memorandum, or the best one, Ascending Axe. Karin is dependent on landing critical hits to activate her effects, so giving her high crit chance is a must. If you have enough crit chance from gears, Daydream Joker is a good artifact to use. Karin is really good in both PvE content and PvP. With a combo from her second and third skill, along with 10 Soul Burn, she can eat a big chunk of any boss. Keep in mind that her defense break can be resisted, but she still gains the extra turn. She does have some limitations due to her elemental type. As of right now, there's no PvE content that she really shines in. She's just a really good main DPS to have if you're not using Commander Lorena or other main DPS units. Although the extra turns that she gets from both her skill and the artifact can be a double-edged sword. She can clear debuffs on herself, but also burn through buffs pretty fast. Poisons and bleeds on Karin will quickly eat through her HP, while attack, defense, and speed down debuffs will be gone before you know it. Buffs such as attack is not really a big problem since she is making use of the buff. However, barrier, immunity, and speed buff can be a waste on Karin. In PvP, she's very good with offensive teams. She doesn't really need to rely on other units aside from attack buff because of her kit, and this makes her a quick nuker. With enough speed, she can take out priority targets. However, if you can't take someone down using her combo, even with an attack buff, you're probably going to lose. She's made out of paper and will probably get destroyed the next turn. And that's all I have for Karin build guide. If this helped you in any way, leave a like. And if you want to see more epic content, please subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Rover out.